Hello, Nick Fenton here with TickerTank.com. Today I wanted to have a discussion about automating profit taking. Uh, a lot of things that I do as an options trader are very counterintuitive to the way everybody else trades. I risk more to make less. I basically uh, manage my winners and tend to let my losers run, but I do manage my losers a little bit. But there's one thing I never do, and that is place a stop on an options position. What I will do is automate profit taking to remove the human element of taking profits. And you know, I have different exit criteria for different strategies, but let me just show you one example of a way that I may utilize automating profit taking. So we'll go over here to the trade screen and let's take a look at Facebook. And let's say we want to sell a strangle in Facebook. So currently, the IV percentile is 96%. So we're at the very top end of the uh, implied volatility 52-week range. Great opportunity to sell premium. And let's go ahead and choose our strikes here. We're going to look at December with 63 days left. Plenty of duration there. We've got 40 strikes open already. And we want to find a probability in the money around 16% on the put side which is 41, that's the 41 strike, and around 16% on the call side, we've got 65 and 70 as our options here. Um, 70 is quite below 16, and you can see that we are right around, you know, 4% above, 3.5% above 16 on the 65. I tend to err on the lower end of 16% versus the higher end. So let's go ahead and use the 70 as our call strike. So we'll go back up here to our put strike and right click on the bid, hit sell, strangle. And we're going to change our call to that 70 call we mentioned. So there's the 70 call. So this is selling for a credit of $1.98. Let's go ahead and say we want it to fill at $2 even, just to make this example easy. <clears throat> now, when I look at strangles, my exit criteria is generally a 25% decay in value, 50% uh, decay of value at absolute most. So if I see a value decay of 50%, then I'm automatically taking profits 100% of the time. When it gets to about 25% value decay, then I'm highly considering taking profits. Now, with that in mind, let's take a look at two different examples. How do you determine a 25% value decay and how do you determine a 50% value decay? And how do you go ahead and automate that whole process of automating the profit taking in the most time efficient manner possible? So simply, we were looking at a $2 credit. If we want a value decay of 50%, then 50% of $2 is $1. So we're looking for a value decay of $1, so we'd be looking to cover at $1. Same thing with 25 cents. If we get a, uh, I'm sorry, 25%. If we get a 25% value decay, that's going to reflect a 50 cent decay in value. You subtract 50 cents from this $2 credit, and that means you'd be covering at $1.50. That would represent a 25% value decay. A quick way to do it, to calculate it, if um, the math isn't extremely easy to do in your head, like this example, is to take the credit, which in this case is 2.00. And of course, you don't need the 0.00s. I'm just making this example very visually clear for you. And you can multiply that by the inverse of 25% to get the cover price. Or you can just multiply it by 25 to see what 0.25 rather to see what that 25% of two dollars represents, and then subtract that from two. So you're going to want to cover at a buck fifty in that case. So I'll show you the other example: two zero zero times the inverse of uh, not the inverse, but one minus 0.25 uh, equals. 1.5, so that's going to give you your cover price. So if you wanted to cover after a 25% value decay, then you would automatic automate your covering order to cover at $1.50. And the same calculation for 50% value decay, 0.5, you want to cover at a dollar. So let's take it over to this screen 
And let's go ahead and go with the 25% value decay in this example because a 25% value decay would, repre would represent a $50 gain per spread, which net of commissions is a very reasonable profit. <clears throat> and when you're combining high probability of success strategies like this one with a minimal requirement before you take profits, minimal value decay requirement before you take profits, you're increasing the probability of that trade being profitable. So essentially, you're putting yourself in a high, theoretically high probability of success strategy and increasing your probability of success by requiring a minimal amount of value decay before realizing profits. So it's almost giving yourself edge on, on top of edge, double edge, if you will. <laughs> so what you do here is you go down to advanced orders. It's going to be defaulted on single order. So you drop down, hit first trigger sequence, right click on this trade, hit create opposite order, and reduce this to $1.50, and change that to GTC. And basically, once you hit confirm and send, first it's going to show you all your information here. So we're selling, order number one, we're selling 10 strangles in uh, Facebook December with the 70 calls and the 41 puts at $2 limit so selling to open and then if once that tr once that order fills it will trigger a order to buy back those 10 strangles essentially covering your entire position at a dollar 50 limit which means you're going to be taking profits after a 25 percent value decay and automating that process right out of the gate your max profit of course is 2000 if you were to hold to expiration but in this case our max profit is going to be um, 500 because we're accepting $50 as our uh, profit automation times 10 contracts or 10 spreads 10 lot it's telling you the cost uh, or your max loss infinite theoretically uh, cost of one uh, of the first order is a credit of 1975 and the cost of the other order is a debit of $15.24. Uh, and you can see the cost of both trades. You can see the buying power effect, which is associated with the initial trade. In this case, it's saying $16.75. Keep in mind that this paper money account that I'm looking at, and I'm showing you this example in paper money because I don't want to blast out my, my account balances all over the internet. Uh, so this is just an educational tutorial. Um, it's going to be a buying power effect of $16.75 that will be higher if you don't have a portfolio margin account because portfolio margin allows you to offset positions more for do more with your capital essentially uh, in order to have portfolio margin you have to have 125,000 in your account and apply for portfolio margin so this gives you the whole rundown you would just hit send and in this case we're probably not going to fill right away on our Facebook order but you can see here we are working two dollars and the current mark is two dollars and our sell to open order is down here at the bottom which you can see here is it's working and the buy to cover order which is GTC it's very important you put good till cancel on there because you want that just resting there until it until it fills it say it says status wait trig so it's waiting for this first order to trigger before this GTC order will start working so there you have it there's a good example of how to automate profit taking it's something I practice on pretty much every option strategy I do and it's something that you can highly consider practicing give yourself as much edge as possible in this game because it's a very difficult game to play as it is so you might as well give yourself as much edge as you possibly can in order to ensure that you uh, have long-term success in this business